So you start on your program. Well, you, you, find, you have to find Gregory. And when you do find Gregory, I assume you think this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to any filmmaker because he's such an amazingly made for the cameras character. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um, and there's a, there's, there's a moment I'll, I'll, I'll share with you guys. Um, in the movie, the first time we see Gregory is on that Skype and, um, and it was a creative decision because I had actually started talking to Gregory uh, during the Sochi Olympics. And right after the Sochi Olympics, um, he's lecturing in Oregon. It's now July 2014. I hadn't started doping. I was actually three months into filming and doing my clean thing. And he invites me to come and meet him in Oregon where he's lecturing at this symposium. And that's how he had a visa to come to the United States because he's coming to lecture. And so I decided that um, I wasn't going to go up there with cameras. I wasn't going to go up there and, you know, try to make a production out of it. I was just going to go up there to meet him and see who this person was. And he had no idea when I went up to Oregon that I wanted to dope. He didn't know anything other than I, than I said, hey, I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm exploring the anti-doping system in sports and whether or not like what Armstrong did could still be done and you know, can I meet you? And so he welcomed me up there with open arms. We spent two days together and being around Gregory means a lot of vodka. And, and at the time I'm training for this race. So I'm like, Oh shit, <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking. Um, but, but we bonded and we just formed this incredible uh, friendship. And I said to him at that time, and this was July, 2014, I said, Gregory, do you think it's possible that an Olympic medal can be won clean. And he looks me in the eyes and his response was, I should believe, I try to believe, I don't believe an Olympic medal can be won clean. And then he takes this pause and he goes, I don't know, maybe I'm a bad man. Mm. And that was that, I mean, I in my gut, I knew kind of what 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 that meant and um and we trusted each other and i told him what i was going to do and what i wanted to do and he said okay i'll help you and at that point we we had when we had a friendship and um and so that skype call was six months later and we hadn't seen each other since then we hadn't you know we had corresponded we had emailed back and forth but that was the beginning of my doping program and there, I, and there he was six months later in Moscow and without his shirt on, and we were off to the races. But I, had I not went to Oregon and spent those you know, two days with him just as, as a friend and forming that relationship, I don't think the next phase and the next phase would have ever happened.